In this video, I'm going to walk you through how to create assignments inside of Google Classroom. As a teacher with Google Classroom, you can create assignments or post quizzes or questions, even provide links to reference materials, all within Google Classroom in a paperless environment. To get started, before you post an assignment though, I suggest you go check the grading settings in your Google Classroom. To do that, click the gear icon and then scroll all the way to the bottom. By default, the overall grade calculation is set to no overall grade, but you can set it to points or weighted by category. My suggestion to make your life a lot easier is to have the categories match as closely as possible to your student information system. So if you're using Infinite Campus or Skyward, you want to have your categories and the percentages match what you have in your SIS system. So after you have your categories set up, click on the X to close the class settings and return back to your stream. To create an assignment, you want to move over to your classwork tab. This is where you create assignments and organize them as topics. To add something to your classwork tab, click the create button. This is where you can create assignments and quizzes, questions. Materials are usually the links to reference materials or reference sites. You can even save time by reusing a post from a previous classroom. But for now, we're going to click on assignment. To begin, give your assignment a title. Optionally, you can give instructions as well. Then below, you can include other attachments. This can be a file from your Google Drive, uploading a file, a link to an external website for them to review, or even a video. If you click the plus symbol, you could even create a new document from scratch. But usually when people are creating assignments, they're basing it on something they've already created in their Google Drive. So in this case, I'm going to click on the Add Google Drive file. And then under Recent, I'm going to find the file that I want to include. Once it's highlighted, in the bottom right hand corner, I click Insert. Now the next part is very important. People often make a mistake with this, so don't feel bad if you do. This drop down box gives you options for how students can interact with the file you've attached. If you have the first one selected, students can view file. They can only read your file. They can't actually make any changes to it. If you click edit file, that allows all of the students that have been assigned this assignment the ability to edit the same file. So it would be the wild, wild west and everybody can update the file that I've attached. What most people want when they're attaching a Google Doc or something else is to make a copy for each student. This will ensure that every student has their own individual copy of this file so they can make changes to it and submit it to you as their assignment. Once you assign the file, you're not able to change this. So you want to make sure you have it right before you submit it. A lot of people mess this up, so don't feel bad if you do. If you do this incorrectly, you will have to delete the assignment and recreate it. So just make sure you have this selected correctly. Now along the right hand side, you have some options for who gets the file. Under the four option, you can assign it to one classroom or multiple classrooms. This is handy if you have multiple sections of the same class. Under this drop down, you can select individual students to receive the assignment. This is handy if you have students that have some sort of accommodations and you need to give them their own tailored content. Now if you select all classrooms, you're not able to select individual students. If you select individual students, you're not able to select all classrooms. So you're kind of selecting one or the other. Now you remember earlier when I showed you how to set up your grade categories, if you set up your grade categories, you'll have the option to assign this assignment a grade category. You can also give it a certain number of points. You also have the option to make this ungraded. Here I'll set a 20 points for the homework category. Now with a due date, if you hit this drop down box, you see that there's no due date. You can use this date picker to pick a date in the future. And then what I suggest is setting a time as well. If you don't set a time, it will default to midnight and then students will be submitting this at midnight and your phone's gonna make a lot of noises at midnight as students are submitting their assignments. I'll cover topics a little bit later. I'm not going to cover rubrics in this video, but if you check the video description, you'll find a link to a video that goes into more detail with rubrics. As soon as you click assign, an email will be sent to your students letting them know they have a new assignment. It will also show up in the stream of their Google Classroom. If you click the arrow to the right, you have a couple different options. You can save it as a draft if you want to come back and finish this later, or you can schedule it so that students will receive it as an assignment later. This is a handy time management feature. So if you, as a teacher, want to schedule all of your assignments during your prep period, but not have them actually hit the student's stream until you're ready for them to see it, you can organize that and schedule it for the future. In this case, I'm just going to click assign. Now each student will receive an email letting them know they have a new assignment. The assignment is added to the top of the classwork tab. That looks fine now with one assignment, but imagine if you have a lot of assignments throughout the school year, this is going to get cluttered really fast. You can use topics to organize your assignments and that way they'll be easier to find. To create topics, click on the create button and at the bottom, click Topic. There's different ways you can organize your classroom. Some teachers will organize it by week. So every week will be a different topic and any assignments or materials or resources they need for that week will be under that topic. Another idea is to have it by category or by subject. In this case, I'll create a topic for poetry and then click Add. So now I have a poetry section. I'm gonna go back to the assignment that I made a little earlier and I'm gonna click Edit. 
Now from here, I'm going to go to the topic section and I'm going to change the topic to poetry. I could also create a topic from here if I wanted to, but in this case, I'm just going to select my previously created topic and then click save. Now my assignment is going to be under this poetry section. If I want, I can take these sections by the header and drag them up to the top so I can organize them as I want. Now if you have topics organized by week, you can drag and move around topics so that the current week is always near the top. That's just another way you can organize your classwork tab for your student. If I hop over to the stream page, I'll see this assignment as part of my stream. When I click into this assignment, I can see that nobody has turned it in and two people have it assigned. And I can click on the student's documents to see how the progress is going. Along the right hand side, I can even make private comments with them just to let them know how they're doing, make suggestions and give them feedback before they even submit the assignment. That's a quick overview on how to get started with assignments in Google Classroom. At the end of the video, I'm going to share a link to other videos on Google Classroom. I'll also have some links in the description below. If you have any questions, put them in the comments. Thanks for watching. Let me know if I can help.